Hi everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Sims Challenger insulated rain suit. It's a fairly new rain suit. It's been out a little over a year. So stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it. Alright, so Sims is a company out of Montana that's really kind of known more for their uh, fly fishing gear, uh, but they've been getting into the bass world, uh, the walleye world, the musky world a little bit more and more, and they're really well known for their rain suits. Um, so the Challenger series is their number one selling rain suit for, for most uh, fishermen uh, fishing for bass and walleye and muskies, but they came out with this insulated, insulated one. And it's extremely lightweight. Most insulated suits, especially the ones that are intended for ice fishing, are super heavy and kind of bulky. This is one that's lighter weight. So yes, you can use this ice fishing, but it's also good for fishing in the colder months uh, anywhere around the country, out of a boat or from the shore. Uh, so you don't have to just be an ice fisherman to enjoy this suit. So some of the features, it has this Prima Loft um, insulation, which is a synthetic down, basically. And even when it gets wet, it still retains the heat capacity and it stays fluffy. Um, the cool thing that they've thought, they thought about everything, because they, they think about the fishermen, in the chest area and the back area, so the torso, it's 120 grams of Prima Loft. However, in the sleeves, they put 100 grams of Prima Loft so that you have a lot of Mo uh, mobility in your shoulders to be able to cast and it's kind of the same concept as, as people that wear uh, a, a warm vest and that have no sleeves at all in the colder months so it just gives you more freedom so it shows how much they're thinking um, the jacket I'll, I'll put it on here it's, it's like I said extremely lightweight extremely comfortable it has very good very good cuff control to really cinch it down, which is something that Sims is really well known for. Uh, it's got the, not only is it a reinforced zipper, but it's got a storm flap. All the pockets have reinforced zippers, and they have lots and lots of pockets. That's another thing that uh, Sims is kind of known for. So this one right here in the chest is a good one for a cell phone. It's nice and easy to get to. It's got a kind of just a junk pocket, like a junk drawer. You can throw your beanie cap, your gloves, uh, anything you want in there. Uh, they have one on both sides. They also have a pocket on the inside here. It's more protected. So again, very comfortable. The hood, it's a three-way, um, uh, there's three different ways to control or uh, to cinch on this, on this hood. The other thing that Sims is really good about is when you zip, zip these up, it goes all the way up to your nose. So I'm going to show you how that works. Again, they have these little drawstrings right here. These drawstrings that you can easily cinch things down and adjust. And then around the waist, They have the uh, uh, the kill switch attachment here on both sides, and then here's another drawstring to cinch down the area around your waist. The other thing they think about is that the back portion of this is very uh, long, so so it's longer than most. It goes all the way down to my butt. There's a lot of jackets that come up to about here. That's as further they, all the further they go. So again, just helps keep the wind out. So now I'm going to show you what's in the bibs, and they've got a couple cool features with the bibs. All right, so a couple things about the bibs. Let's just start at the top. They've got a crisscrossing uh, straps, and this buckle right here adjusts. So I can, I can control where the crisscross is going to be in my back. So if you've got your straps that are falling off your shoulders over and over and over, then you just want to cinch this up a little higher. 
And if you aren't having that problem, you can, you can bring it down. So that's kind of a neat feature. Um, they've got the kill switch on these as well. They've got nice deep pockets in the front. And not only is it a deep pocket, but they have a, right here, this is a spot that from the outside, I don't have to on Velcro this, I can put in a, any kind of a tool that I want, you know, a pair of pliers or, or whatever, hook sharpener. Um, that goes right in here and it goes behind the pocket, it doesn't actually go into the pocket. So it can rain all at once, but that's not going to get into your pocket. So kind of a cool feature. Um, same thing, they got the storm flat reinforced zipper. They've got hand warming pockets here and here that uh, have a fleece on the inside. So if you just want to warm your hands for a short while, you can do that without having to open any of these other pockets and let some possible rain in there. Um, there is belt loops, so if you need to, to wear a belt around this, just to tighten it down, you can. The, the legs, the zipper goes, I'm not even all the way zipped up, let's bring this all the way up. So that zipper goes all the way up to your your hip it makes it a lot easier to put uh, these on with big boots and definitely with an insulated suit you're gonna be wearing boots speaking of boots they have a gaiter here so this just velcros around there's also a button but if I am in the snow this gaiter is gonna prevent snow from coming up also if I'm fishing where it's it's splashing a lot or there's maybe some really circulating winds you can put this gaiter attach this gaiter but if you don't want to use the gator, you just keep it open like this, and you put your boots in. The, the cuff is well, in, or, uh, well reinforced for, uh, you know, those are usually the parts that heel cuff, especially of your rain gear that starts to wear down first. And nobody wants to, you know, you spend several hundred dollars on a good rain suit, but then the, the cuff starts to get scuffed up and torn and battered, so good reinforcement there. In addition to that, they've reinforced the knees. And another really cool feature excuse me, another really cool feature is they come with knee pads and they're removable. So on the inside of the knee, I just open this and put the knee pad right in. And so if I'm going to be ice fishing and kneeling, I've got knee pads. But if I'm fishing out of a boat, I can remove these. So again, they think of the fishermen first and then they figure out how to design a rain suit that's going to accommodate that fisherman. Again, it's called the Challenger Insulated Rain Jacket and Bibs by Sims. Not to be confused with the Sims Pro Dry. The Sims Pro Dry, I've made another video that talks about the Sims Pro Dry. This is their top of the line rain suit. This one, the reason why this one is so good is all the ways that you can adjust it and all the pockets. So this does have more adjustability than the Challenger, it has more pockets, but if it's cold out, this is very thin and lightweight, which I love in the summertime, but as it gets cold, you really have to layer up underneath this. So. I've got a link below with uh, current pricing for the Sims Challenger insulated jacket and bibs. Again, it's fairly new, so it's hard to find in a lot of stores. Uh, but this link will adjust as the prices change. So you're going to get the most current price no matter what. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.